hey guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how to frame screenshots on your iphone so if you want to frame your screenshots like this on your iphone let me show you how to do that so the first thing you need to do is open your browser and you need to paste this link in your browser so it is a shortcut that you can use so just paste this link in your browser i'm going to put it in the video description just click on the link and you need to download this shortcut app to your iphone so if you do not have this shortcut app it's not going to work just open your app store and you need to download it once you have downloaded it just click on get shortcuts and it's going to redirect you to the shortcut app so it's going to load for a few seconds and you're going to see the add to shortcut option so just click on add to shortcuts and it's going to show in your shortcut list right here so once it has shown in your shortcut list all you need to do is click on it and it's going to show up your screenshots library so just scroll down and you're going to see your recent screenshots so just select the one that you want to frame and you need to click on done once you click on done you are going to see different ways to save it so you can save it to photos directly you can copy it to clipboard so you can copy it without saving it you can copy the jpeg and you can add it to quick look so just click on save to photos and you can use it anytime you want so let's check our recent photos so guys can you see this it with the frame so guys i think i should do this with a white photo so you are going to see the frame very well so you can also add it to your home screen for faster use so just click on these three dots click on this upload scroll down and click on add to home screen and you need to click on add and click on done so you can just use it on your home screen easily so just select the photo i'm going to use a photo with white background so let's use this one click on done and you're going to see different ways to save it so once it is done you can now check your library for it so guys can you see it is very easy to use so if you have any question about this drop it in the comments down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys